for being so nice and answering my questions. Thank a, you. It should buy you a cup of coffee. Whoa. We almost get hit by a snowplow. In today's English lesson, we are going to try to have real English conversations with Americans, and we are going to ask them, how do you take your coffee? You might hear that if you ever visit the United States. They might say, how do you take your coffee? That means, what things do you put in your coffee to make it taste good? What types of sugar? How many sugars? How many creams? What type of milk do you like to put into your coffee? I just got done filming how to order a coffee in American English at Blue Jay Coffee. So I have a couple gift certificates I bought from there and I would like to give them out to people who answer our questions. There's a guy across the street shoveling. Maybe he will answer our questions. We have to cross the street first though. I won't get him on camera if he doesn't want to. Excuse me, sir. I'm recording myself and I'm not gonna record you unless you don't, unless you don't mind, but I'm asking people how they like to drink their coffee. I have a, a YouTube channel where I teach people English. Mm -hmm. Would you be willing to answer a few questions? Yeah. Would you really? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Why? So what's your name? Me? Me. All right, my name is Brent, yeah. and I teach English on YouTube. Uh -huh. And are you a coffee drinker? I am. Okay, what's your favorite type of coffee? Uh, cappuccino. Cappuccino. But usually every day, just black coffee. Just black? Yeah. Straight black coffee. Yeah. So no cream, no sugar. When Ming says black, that's what it means. No cream, no, no, no sugar. No. I put black co hot coffee and put cream and sugar. <laughs> A lot of sugar. That's my favorite. <laughs> Okay, black coffee with lots of cream, yes. lots of sugar. Yes. Now, Ming, I think I've heard of you. You own Orchid? Yeah. No, no, I'm not on. I do a sushi chef in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Ming is a sous chef here at a, a very famous restaurant in this town called Orchid. Yeah. How many cups of coffee do you drink a day? I just drink every morning. That's it. That's it. So yeah, but every day. Do you ever feel a little bit of a crash in the afternoon because you don't have caffeine? I, I. I do, but I cannot have two or more. I try to do myself, not too many in every day. It's a great idea. Yeah. I, I could learn a lot from you because I drink yeah. too much um, caffeine. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we drink too much. It's not good for my heart. I just thinking that. Because not good yeah. for your heart. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have a gift certificate. Have you ever heard of Blue Jay Coffee? Yeah, that one that I, I walk by every day. You're so nice in answering my questions. Thank a, you. It should buy you a cup of coffee. Yes, <laughs> thank I you so do much. every day. Yes. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, Ming. Whoa. Wow, what a nice guy Ming was. We almost get hit by a snowplow. All right, there's another guy shoveling. Yeah, I've heard of him. Orchid, maybe I should do an English lesson from Orchid. They serve really good food. It's one of the best restaurants in this town called Lewis and Maine. Let's ask this person. Maybe he will say no, maybe he will say yes, but I don't want to record anybody if they don't want to be on camera. Sir, hello. I have a YouTube channel where I teach people English. No, no English. No, okay, you don't speak. Well, maybe he doesn't speak English. So maybe he should subscribe to the channel. Thank you though, thank you. He was super nice about it, but he said he doesn't speak English. I think he should subscribe. Speak English with this guy. Maybe you should subscribe. That's hard to say. Maybe you should subscribe and like the video. The streets are kind of empty. Maybe we won't find anybody else. Where are all the American coffee drinkers? I should have stopped that guy that almost ran us over with the plow. I bet he likes coffee. Maybe he was so hyped up on caffeine, that's why he almost ran us over. Here are a couple people. Hello. Whoa, I almost slipped. They didn't look like they wanted to answer my questions. I just said hello. Yeah, we got a lot of snow last night, so the sidewalks need to be cleared. 
All right, I'm gonna walk this way. Maybe we'll find some more Americans who like to drink coffee. I need to walk past my car, so maybe I'll take a, a sip of my latte. Just a quick sip because I see somebody walking down the street now. Sir, I'm filming myself, but I teach English on YouTube and I was wondering if you would be willing to get on camera and answer a couple questions about coffee? Sure. Sure, all right, thank you. So, what's your name? My name's Robert. Robert? All right, my name is Brent and he is willing to talk about coffee for a little bit. How do you take your coffee? Black, sugar, Black. Uh, milk. Black, sugar, milk. How many cups of coffee do you drink per day? About one or two. One or two. Is there a time of day where you will not drink any more coffee because you might not fall asleep? Normally at night time. No, okay. Um, where's your favorite place to get coffee? Dunkin' Donuts, Cumberland Farms. All right. How about, have you ever heard of uh, Blue Jay Coffee? Yes. Okay. I've been uh, there once, I think. Okay, well, I have a gift certificate for you for a free cup of coffee because you were so nice to answer my questions. All right, thank you, Robert. God bless. <laughs> See you later, thank you. What a nice guy, Robert. So, it seems like a lot of Americans just take their coffee black with cream and sugar. Like I said, I don't drink coffee that often, but when I do, I also like my coffee black, lots of cream, lots of sugar, so much so that it really doesn't taste like coffee anymore. It's super sweet and milky. I hope hearing some of these real English conversations helped you with your English. If you're looking for more English, take a look at the one I did at a coffee shop. Hey, nobody stole my coffee, it's still here. Oh, thanks so much for watching, see you next time.